Today on its 2012 Kia Sedona, we're going to install part number 118410 from Toretti. First thing we need to do is go ahead and open the tailgate and get access to the taillights so we can remove both of them. There will be three screws in each light so we can remove the taillight. Then we'll pry the light away from the vehicle. And then we'll disconnect the wire harness from the taillight. There will be a small tab that we have to push down and then we can go ahead and release the light from the wire harness. Next we'll go ahead and take the four pole wire and run it down between the bumper cover and the body of the vehicle. We'll also do the same thing with the T-connector with the green wire. Now our T-connector with the yellow wire, we'll connect that to the vehicle wiring harness. We'll also find a location to ground the white wire with the ring terminal to the bodywork behind the taillight. And then we'll go ahead and run our module down as well. Okay, now we're back underneath the vehicle. We'll go ahead and take the four pole wire harness and route it over to the center of the hitch. We'll also take our T connector with the green wire and we'll run that over to the passenger side and back up to the tail light. Now, next we'll work with the module. We'll clean off a piece of sheet metal and then attach the module there. Then we'll go ahead and take some time and zip tire wires to keep them safe and secure and out of the way. Okay, now when we secure our wires, we'll take a moment and we'll run it behind the supports for the bumper cover. We'll go ahead and remove the plastic rivets and then slip the wires behind the supports, then reinstall the rivets. When the wire goes over the exhaust, we'll make sure to route the wire over the plastic fish as well to help protect it. Okay, we're almost done with the back. We'll go ahead and make our final connection to the passenger side taillight and zip tire wires to secure them there. Then we'll go ahead and reinstall the taillights And then we'll go ahead and move on to the red power wire from the module. We'll connect the black wire that comes with the kit and we'll end up running that up to the battery. When we do that, we'll make sure we stay away from anything moving like suspension components or steering components and anything hot like the exhaust. All right, now to help hold our wire in place, we're going to use a couple of loom clamps, part number A0500. We'll go ahead and run it up to our battery. We'll cut it to length. We'll take a few moments to zip tie the wire to secure it. And then we'll add a fuse holder. We'll cut the fuse holder in half. And we'll add a buck connector to one side and connect that to our black wire. And the ring terminal will go on the other side, which will be hooked up to the positive battery post. And we'll also add our fuse to our fuse holder. Okay, then we'll zip tie it to secure it. With that, they'll finish it for our install part number 118410 from Toretti on our 2012 Kia Sedona.